The Los Angeles Coliseum, once home to the Olympic Games and many of the most memorable moments in sports, and also home to the USC Trojans, who are prepared to fight on once again today. Today, we have a top 25 matchup on hand with two of college football's premier teams preparing to slug it out. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the LSU Tigers, taking on the 25th ranked team in the land, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. LSU ready to kick it away to get things started. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the USC Trojans offense will get the first swing of the game. And here's the man they'll try to feed the football to no matter what the coverage looks like, Jesse. He's their best player on offense, and I like the way this coaching staff moves him around and tries to create good matchups to take advantage of, David. And that makes it so hard to defend. When the receiver lines up in the same spot every time, I can bring extra coverage. Man, use this guy all over the field as a weapon of mass destruction. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Takes a handoff. It's O'Neal. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. Dropping back, it's Moss. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Power football with the run. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. They'll run it from the gun. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Now on third down after that run. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense. And, guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. The LSU Tigers offense has the ball for the first time. This is just a great matchup to watch on the outside and who can win downfield in the passing game. Man, this reminds me of 1997, Charles Woodson versus David Boston. Two physical athletes that are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe all game long. Yeah, two alphas, two guys that play the positions where you have to have such confidence, cornerback, wide receiver. Let's see this throw now. This crowd full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Makes the grab. It's Daniels. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion. Nice catch. 
decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. He's right on target. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. On the option. He'll toss it. Pass to 45. A tremendous run. He was full four after taking that pitch. Just sweet execution. LSU doing what it always does when they're really good, moving the ball on the ground. Yeah, trying to find that physicality. They get so many great players across the country. LSU has the pick of people in Louisiana. Everybody wants to come there, and you can tell they always find great talent, and they're always able to run the football. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Red pass, it's complete. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver to create enough separation to create a positive game. He's looking to throw it. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket, nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over. Just throw it away. After the misfire, it's second down. The run from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And I think that might be an example of the running back maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Everybody wants to try to bounce the ball outside and hit the home run, but in college football at this level, you just need to do a better job taking what the defense gives you. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Fires deep toward the end zone. Fires into traffic, picked off. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. This quarterback was having success throwing on the opening drive of the game, in large part because it's a lot harder to throw on third down when the defense is expecting it, like you saw right there. They were ready. Had a really good coverage call to get the INT. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and gone. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating an explosive play. And the Trojans headed quickly to the line. On the move, it's O'Neal. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. Now facing a third and long. The play-action fake. Looking deep down the right side. 
And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Trojans will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball will bounce it to four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They go to the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Grimm and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Gets open down the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. The quick passing game does several things. One, it doesn't let the pass rush get you. Those great defensive linemen, the ball's coming out so fast they can't get there. And then what else? It gets me ahead of the sticks. I don't have to worry about getting in long yardage in predictable situations. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Caught over the middle. It's Taylor. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. LSU getting set on first and ten. Now on the option. A confident, tough, efficient run. Gets it up to the 44. I'm not sure what the quarterback saw in that one, but that was a very quick decision to take off and run with it to try to get his offense some positive yards. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. Out of the gun to give to the back. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. The Tigers are moving quickly down the field. They'll ride the hot hand. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They'll run the option. Not quite in rhythm there, incomplete. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar line. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. You got to love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives live? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
They tried to run the counter, but absolutely nothing doing. And those counter plays take a little longer to develop sometimes. You're usually pulling one or two guys, and that penetration in the backfield can kill you, can get to the running back before he gets started. On third down, going up top. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? And the Trojans decide to punt it away. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. He'll ride his man on the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Fires to the big fella. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Man, we're seeing the tight end used more and more in the passing game. You, you see him moving inside. You see him moving outside. You see him moving in the box to block people. So here they put him in the slot and just have a nice little pitch and catch session. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Right down the middle. He's got it. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding this receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. The give is to Williams. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, he uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Handoff to the lone back. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. They'll throw it on first down. Quick completion on the out. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside. And the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback can go in the other direction. LSU now operating in the red zone. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. and one of those has arrived. Off the RPO, fire right, trying to convert. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And the defense brought the blitz on third down, trying to see if they could rattle the quarterback, but how about the poise? He knew where his answer was. He didn't panic or freak out. He just went through his progressions, picked up the first, and we got a fresh set of downs. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. 
caught behind the line. It's Daniels. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. A defense, man, it helps you a lot. You could be a linebacker or a corner or safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. The aerial assault continues. Got it behind the line. It's Williams. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out quick, get it to your playmakers in space, get positive yards. It's uh, instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide. And a lot of times if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. Snap from the gun on third down. Fires to the end zone. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. And after the miss, guys, the score stays right where it is. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession, Jesse. This offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. The Trojans in the hurry up. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wide out. It's caught. And they explode on that one. And they've got it down to the 22. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took the steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. First down here for the offense. He's going to pass. Quickly complete. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Just like that, a hat trick of completions, and they're on the doorstep. Three plays, three beautifully executed plays. This offense is in a really good rhythm. This defense better change something quickly, because this has been way too easy. This defense might be reeling after those last two and now facing first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, USC! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Trying to get to him. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Now on 
second down after the incompletion. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. He lofts one down the sideline. It's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. That last play changed everything on this possession. They've got it first and 10 inside the 30. He wants to throw. Going back to the well, another deep ball. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the ground. Off the play fake. He lobs one high down the left side. Running toward the tape. The 20. And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. Touchdown Trojans. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Finding up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, there in the shadows of the Hollywood sign, you've been watching quite a drama of your own. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the L.A. Coliseum. And the Trojans will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. 
And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. LSU right back to the line. They'll run it. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Grab in the backfield. It's Taylor. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. Oh, uh, you know, that's one as a quarterback. You throw in the completion, and you're like, dude, can you just turn around and make one guy miss and go get the first? Or can you just stretch out and get the first down? You need your guys to have a little bit more awareness where they are in the field on that play. And even though they got the completion, it's not enough to pick up the first. And now you're staring fourth down right in the face. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. Leaves it with the back. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. It's hard to stop great runs. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You've got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you've got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Motion from the offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Copeland. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And that's the look in man coverage you can throw the hitch route against, right? When the receiver's got a little bit of access and he's got some room to work with, against press, you're risking a pick six. So good decision there by the Q, knowing that was a good look to throw in. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Looking to throw, it's Moss. Throwing right. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Trojans will call on their punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll keep it himself. Brought down at the 25 after he picked up 10. This is an offense that has a chance to be one of the better rushing attacks in the country at the end of the year because of the athleticism of this quarterback. You're going to see this guy do damage with his legs this year. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Grabbed behind the line, it's Daniels. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. 
My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and you'll never complain. And here comes the offense on second down. Here's the handoff. Nifty little dance step. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. LSU moving quickly, going to work again on first down. They'll give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you've got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? Have they been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. Here comes the option. <clears throat> Quick toss. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Scanning the field, it's Nussmeyer. They're bringing heat. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, but we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done. team on the field. He'll bring it back. It's Branch. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Palmer. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He'll try to pop the draw. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Off play action. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you. So the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. And the Trojans send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. Wants to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Fires to the middle. He makes a catch. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. 
And the Tigers are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback. Stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives alive. Whether it's third and long or third and inches, you just have to go execute. They do Line getting set on second down. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. Well, LSU receivers are known for their swagger. That is swagger well earned after that one. Uh, you go outside and you make plays like, listen, you have swag, you have confidence, and you usually get a little bit loud, Reese, and be like, listen, feed me the rock. So many great LSU receivers in the past, and it's because of that swag. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. The Tigers are flying down the field. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. Second down after that incompletion. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to throw deep right side. Ball in the air, intercepted! And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He'll do it himself. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. A strike downfield. Is that stiff arm even a human arm? It, it looks like some type of steel bludgeoning device on his way to a first down. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of down. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. That last completion has them set up, second and short. 
on the run. It's O'Neal. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage of the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Right back to the well. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. How about the job by this defense today? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. They'll rely on running behind the big left tackle here. Just a one-yard gain leaves them with third and nine. And how about this offense, man? Being able to succeed, still winning without their bell cow, without their star being their star. This offense has not had a great game on the ground, but they're still in the lead. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops the throw. Got it set up on the outside. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. The Trojans have it with a first and ten. They go to the ground. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. They've already peeled more than three minutes off the clock on this drive as they stand over the ball on second down. Caught in the backfield, it's Branch. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. They've made clutch, tough plays on this drive on third down. They need one more on third and seven. Running back goes in motion. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. After that incompletion on third and short, it's going to be an interesting decision for the head coach because I know he believes in his guys to go get it here on fourth down and pad the lead, but... If you kick a field goal, you make it a two-possession game here in the second half, and I think that's the right decision. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing it. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. Safe completion on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. They'll throw it on first down. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Made that play and was hoping to make another one on the return, but they'll take it in business at the 41. And 
guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. The give from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Trojans will bring the punt team onto the field. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Grab, go to the middle. It's Lacey. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. He's got his man. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. On second down, he'll let it fly. Grabbed in the middle. It's Ingram. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. LSU with the first and ten here. Looking to move it through the air. Shoots it to the left. It's caught downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of them here in this two-minute situation late in the game. But the drive off to a good start. You get the first down. You get out of bounds. You're working the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. To the air on first down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on as many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. Offense in an empty set. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. He's got it. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And, heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Grabbed in the end zone for a touchdown, and there's still a hill to climb, but they are still fighting, staggering, stumbling, but still upright and not finished yet. 
if we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Just over 20 seconds to play. They must recover this onside kick to have a chance. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. <laughs> 